Welcome back, everybody. It's this beautiful Saturday morning. I'm easy at the house all alone. The kids are gone. The wife's, I don't know where she is. And I'm doing Clash videos, not watching porn like most of you guys would be. So, we decided to put up a video on Town Hall 8. This is a farming video, resource hunting. Uh, we have several different attacks that we're going to show you here. We're going to break, we'll break a couple of them down. We're not going to break them all down, but we'll break the first two down. This first one is, uh, is a Dragaloon. Um, it only has three dragons because of where the air defenses are. So we use the dragons to tank for the balloons. We're going to drop one air, one dragon on top of each air defense, then drop a small group of balloons behind each dragon, and then we're going to put a rage spell on top of each air defense. And then we'll put, the, then we'll put the, the minions in behind to help clean up all the trash buildings. So because of where the air defenses are in this base right here, it made it really simple. Uh, you can see we dropped the first dragon on top of the first air defense, or right next to the air defense, then put the balloons in, then use a rage spell to, to hustle those balloons on top of it. Uh, drop the second dragon, the air defense locks onto the dragon, then you drop the balloons in, put the rage spell on top of it. Uh, probably didn't have to use the rage spells in all three locations, but I was trying to keep the dragons up too, because they were going to help with the minions. They're gonna help the minions clean up some of the buildings. So, the last, the last uh, air defense, we added the clan castle balloons so we can get a good push into the base. Because there was a, in the core of the base, there were a couple archer towers and a couple teslas, and they can be problematic for the, for the balloons. So, as of right now, there's no air defenses left on the base. We have uh, one dragon up. The clan castle balloons are up. A bunch of balloons up. Uh, the minions are now stretched across the outside of the base, taking out those outside buildings, and they're going to start working their way in towards the middle of the base. And we have one, we have one defense, two defenses up right now that can hurt, um, hurt air troops. And as they move in towards that, uh, towards that wizard tower, um, let's see. Well, the, the wizard tower gets one, the one balloon, and all the balloons go down. So let's see what happens. Now, now we put a bunch of minions on that wizard tower, and there's just no hit points left on him. So he goes down. Now there's no defenses left, just minions left, and easy, easy as could be. That Dragaloon, Laloon, uh, Lunian, all three of those attacks are just huge attacks uh, in Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9, especially. Uh, they get a little tricky in Town Hall 10 with, with the Infernal Towers. Town Hall 11, because of the Warden, they're viable once again. Now this one here is called the Pivaho. <laughs> Pivaho. Where the hell do they come up with these names? Which is Pekka, Valkyrie, and Hog Riders. And you, you'll see what we're going to do here. What, what we'll do is we're going to use the Pekka and a couple of healers on top of, on top of them to make a funnel. We've added a couple wizards to help clear out those trash buildings too. They had the, the hero on the outside, so we kind of do a hero swap. Put the king on their king, and knock out their king. And now we have the king and the pack going around the outside, cleaning out those trash buildings. So we have a nice open area for the Valkyries to go right up to the walls. And they'll, they'll take out a couple of trash buildings themselves, and then they'll start making their way into the base. Dropped a few wall breakers to open the base up to, t to help influence the Valkyries go into the base. And as they go inside, we dropped a rage spell. One of the Pekka ended up going inside as well. And then we start adding the Hog Riders. Now, whenever you use a Hog Hog Riders in your raid, in your raid, you have to use heal spells with them. My voice sucks. It, this has been like this for two weeks. I don't know what's going on, people. I don't know. So, so as you add the Hogs, you, what you want to do is you want to lead them with the heal spells. You don't want to put a heal spell over on top of the Hog Riders because what they'll do is they'll take out those one or two defenses and then they'll jump right out of the heal spell. So put the heal spell over big groups of defenses in the path of where the Hogs are going, not where they are. It's kind of like leading the, uh, if you, it's kind of like the quarterback leading the receiver with the football. If you throw it to the receiver, it's going to be behind him by the time it gets there. So you have to kind of lead the hogs just like you lead the receiver with the football. For those of you who are getting ready to watch the big game. Okay, next attack. Pretty good. Pretty good loot. Uh, right now they have, in the, they have the balloon special thing going on. So I think balloons are, are 450 elixir, which is nothing. So uh, 
we got, we got some really good uh, good deals on actually building all the balloons. But we want to show some other raids too. So this raid here shows a shows a giant walk, if you want, if you will, which is a bunch of giants with healers behind them. And what we did is we didn't add the healers right away because there was an air defense on the outside of the walls. We waited for that air defense to go down, and then we added the healers on top of the giants. And as the giants are pecking away at the top, we had the, the king at the top as well. We brought in the hog riders in the bottom corner, and again, led them with the heal spell. And as they work their way into the base, just make sure you keep the heal spells in front of them. Now, what you don't, what you want to try to avoid is if you see an area that has three or four uh, cannons and, ar and archer towers together, and a couple of uh, te Teslas that they can shoot their way through the heal spells. So you have to be careful on on how you deploy your uh, your hog riders. Now, if you're in a heavily congested area, what you can do is put a bunch of hog riders together. And what that will do is they'll take out the defenses so fast that the defenses really won't have time to to uh, to hurt them. But if the if the defenses are spread out, you can just put about two or three hog riders on each defense. And uh, that's called a surgical deployment. And uh, by doing that, the defenses can't help each other out because they'll have they'll have hog riders at their own feet. So they'll be forced to shoot at the hog riders at their own feet, and they get overpowered that way. Three hog riders on one defense will take out that defense. Going back to the Lunian attack here, and uh, this is just a mass Lunian. And when you're doing the mass Lunian, what you, what you really want to do is what what I always like to do is I instead of putting a, a giant line of balloons in on one fourth of the base on one wall, I'll, I'll kind of make a big C pattern and get two different walls, and then they'll they'll really close in well. And because of how fast the balloons drop, uh, as long as you place the spells right, and and they don't surprise you with clan castle troops. That's something I forgot to to mention. Um, you have to be careful of the clan castle troops. So I would always suggest to drop one or two balloons in ahead of time. Now, for those of you who aren't used to pulling clan castle troops, it's really important, especially in balloon raids. And it's so important that if you use five balloons in a raid spell to pull out the clan castle troops, because that's what it takes to get the balloons deep enough, it's worth it. Because if they have five wizards in the, in the clan castle, and you have nothing that will that will take them out because the balloons are in front, the minions are behind. It's not like there's lava hounds in this particular attack that, that the wizards will go and attack the lava hounds and then they pop and then the pups can take out the wizards. It's not like that. That the, the wizards will take out all the balloons. So try to pull the clan castle troops every time. Even even when you're farming, I know you'll catch a lot of bases that don't have clan castle troops, but it's a good habit to get into anyway. <clears throat> it's another Lunian attack here. And again, these aren't max bases. Um, a lot of them have max defenses, but they don't have max walls, which doesn't matter really when you have a Lunian attack anyway. Um, but, you know, we're making a lot of videos, so I don't want to have, uh, you know, 10 or 12 hours waiting, trying to next my way into max bases only. And then you want to three star, and you don't three star every time. So I want to just get a bunch of videos together that we three starred. It took about 15 or 20 minutes to get all these together because we, we had the. The, the barracks boosted up so again you can see right now on the uh, on the on the screen how much coverage the three rage spells gave us I mean it was almost the entire base so no wonder they got through the base so fast I, I don't know if that was 10 or 15 seconds but it was so fast and for, for those of you who are feeling the feeling the burn of these balloons I know that I did. I think I've got three stars the last two wars on my main account, which is a Town Hall 10. And I don't cannot remember the last time that's happened. Back-to-back -back war three stars. Uh, and they're coming in with these air troops. And also, on um, Town Hall 10, I'm getting attacked by Town Hall 11s, which doesn't really help. But if you're trying to defend against the balloons, get, those, get your trap balloons set to air and put them near your air defenses. That will help. Okay, this last this last attack is not a three star, but it, it had seven hundred thousand elixir and seven hundred thousand gold, and I really wanted to show this video right here or this clip 
to show people that you don't have to stay in Town Hall 8 when, you, when you're resource hunting, when you're farming. And you, you, don't, you won't lose trophies every time you attack a Town Hall 9. I'm not saying attack a Town Hall 11 with your Town Hall 8. But if you see a Town Hall 9 out there that's just stacked like this with all this loot, even if you get half of it, it's 400,000 each. Uh, you may only get one star if you're if you're if you're playing well, and you'll st so you'll still have a mild gain in trophies, and you'll get tons of loot. So I didn't get it all here, but I think at the end at the end of this attack, I had over a million. So whenever you hit over a million in Town Hall 8, I mean, you can't complain about that. And and this is not a mass attack either. Uh, you have to be much more careful when you get up against these larger town halls to put the troops in on top of defenses or in groups clusters on top of defenses and use the spells real wisely uh, what I did was I picked apart the base and took out all the air defenses in in groups that way um, the air defenses didn't have time to tee off on 15 or 20 balloons at one time so if I made a little tactical error I lose four or five balloons instead of losing all of them also if you put in all the balloons you have no control over where they go and they may end up going into the middle which the middle of this base had four Teslas and two air and, and uh, two crossbows, one of them set to air. So they would have got pounded in the middle. Level, level 5 balloons are fine for Town Hall 8, but on Town Hall 9, they don't stand a chance. Uh, this is another great example, though, of why you don't build bases in big squares. Even I didn't even have uh, ground troops, and it's still a weak base. Just the, way, just the way these square bases are made, the square inside the square inside the square... It's probably, other than just one big square, it's probably the weakest defensive posture you can make. So try to avoid this at all costs. Um, also, Town Hall 8s and new Town Hall 9s. I know that a lot of players look at the top t top 10 or top 100 players to try to get ideas on what armies to make and what bases to build. Don't copy their bases. Their, their Town Hall 11 bases at the top of in, in the top of the world a lot of them have ring bases or island bases. If you have a Town Hall 8 or 9, those do not work for you. Don't even try them. Um, try, you you want to use the multi-compartment uh, multi bases. If your base has 10 or 12 compartments, then you should be happy with it. So that's the end of the video. Um, hopefully you saw a few attacks in there that you can use. Um, go back and, and watch one more time for me. And pick an attack that you like and go try it 4 or 5 times. Because all of those attacks, I, I know there were a couple of Loonians, but those are all really good attacks. And um, they're, they're ne not necessarily war attacks, but they can be tweaked a little bit into war attacks. So they're good for resource hunting and they can be good for war. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, sub to the channel. We're getting close to 100. That first 100 is always the hardest. That's usually what makes or breaks m most people doing YouTube videos. So sub to the channel. Like the video for me. And uh, until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.